My name's Rowan Ellsmore, but my friends call me Ro. I've been coming to this pond for probably like 10 years. I moved into this neighborhood about 10 years ago. So I've been coming here ever since because this pond is pretty much in my backyard. So all I have to do is walk across the street and boom, I'm here and there's so much to do here. So it's um, definitely been one of my favorite places in this neighborhood. This pond is a sort of hub, so when you have all these people coming in and out, and there's bound to be some littering, some garbage. I don't know if the city of Ottawa shows up every day, every week, month. I don't even know if they show up at all to maintain it, because this isn't technically a park. It would be everyone's responsibility to keep this place clean in a perfect world. Unfortunately, that isn't really how it is right now. Everyone needs to step up and do their part to, like if you see litter, take it throw it out and put it where it actually belongs to keep this place looking as pristine as it could. Because I know that this is a beautiful place and it could look immaculate if everyone stepped up and did their part in keeping it clean. I started doing photography, I was probably like eight years old. I got my first little, uh, little point and shoot camera. Um, but eventually it turned into something a lot bigger than that. My dad got a DSLR and um, it just slowly snowballed into something that I became really passionate about. Every now and again, we'll see like super rare birds here. Like there, there'll be this heron, which we see every now and again, but there'll be even rarer birds. Like uh, there's an osprey that comes around sometimes. We'll see cormorants, we'll see the swallows. And uh, this time of the year in particular, we have um, little ducklings going all about and like that's really fun to uh, to take pictures of it it's an interesting subject that's probably one of the main reasons why i'm drawn to this pond is because there's so much wildlife there's such a diversity of wildlife and people here it's um, a lot of interesting subjects This pond is really special to me because I don't know what it is. Maybe I've been coming here for 10 years and I just have a sentimental feeling towards it, but there's a kind of electricity at this pond. There's an energy to it. There's always someone here on the path with their dogs or their kids. There's always the wildlife making noise. There's just a buzz here. It's kind of like the buzz that you feel when you step out onto the street in New York City and you just have that whole city, but it's, it's like that, but in a different way and maybe it's just me, but I definitely feel that when I come here. Well, for photography, there's definitely the, uh, the golden hours. So typically around the sunrise or sunset, I'm here taking pictures of birds. More or less, it's the sunset because um, I'm not a morning person, but I'll come here at around like six to eight and I'll be taking pictures of the birds just to get that beautiful golden light. It's definitely the best time of the day to do some photography. Since self-isolation started because of uh, the pandemic and since school's out right now, um, I've definitely become a lot more focused and driven to do photography, filmmaking, writing, storytelling, um, and just expressing myself more creatively. Um, because I didn't really get the chance or had the time to do a lot of that stuff when I was very focused on school. Ten years from now, I would love to be doing some sort of journalism. Uh, preferably travel journalism is where I'm 
leaning towards because I love traveling. It's one of my absolute favorite things to do. And if I can go and show people different cultures and lifestyles and um, the positive side of things, which isn't very prevalent nowadays, uh, that like that's my dream job. I'd love to be doing that. As long as I get to travel and tell a story, that's that's really the whole point.